Despite the rain, once again a largely attended Memorial Day ceremony took place in Hopkinton. The ceremony was held at St. John's Parish Center due to rain. On the Friday leading up to the ceremony, Hopkinton Boy and Girl Scouts replaced flags on veteran grave sites at Evergreen and Mount Auburn Cemetery. Hi, we're here to do memorial stuff. Put for flags. For, for flags, we're putting flags in the graves so that uh, yeah. they get new flags and yeah. they be represented. You guys in the Scouts? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow, Go Scouts. Yes. What troop are you from? 68067. We're junior here. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So you're, so you're uh, replacing all the flags? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. My mom's a troop leader. Well, you guys are doing great work. Keep it up. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. And then a large turnout was on hand for the ceremonies to remember the heroes who sacrificed everything for our freedoms. The patriotism that brought us all here today is more than the pride it takes to chant USA, USA at a sporting event. It's deeper than that. It is more than just pride, it's gratitude. What have brought our country together on the first Decoration Day and what unites us when our soldiers came home after World War II was the same emotion that overcame America when we landed on the moon. Not simply a feeling of pride, but a feeling of deep respect and appreciation. It's been said that the character of a community is, re is revealed in the way that it treats its loved ones. Gathering here today and bowing our heads respect for those who made the ultimate sacrifice is the type of patriotism that is handed down from generation to generation. Lieutenant Foley is currently stationed here as Air Force Base in Bedford where he serves as a development engineer. He's here today accompanied by his girlfriend, Tiffany. Please welcome him, our native son, back to Hopkinton, Lieutenant Mike Foley. So today is about memorializing those who've come before. And it's not just about remembering. It's also about a call to each and every one of us who is still alive, still here today. And everybody talks about being thankful, being grateful, and I want to echo what several people have already said since I think it's the most important part, is that it's also a call to duty and a call to service. Not everybody's going to serve in the military. <clears throat> Not everybody's going to go off to war. Not everybody, thankfully, will live in a time of war. Uh, unfortunately, we do now, and it's a reality that every day there are more and more people added to the role of honor of each of the services, the names of those who've fallen. But there'll come a time when we'll live at peace again, and as has been said, there's no such thing as a good war and no such thing as a bad peace. And that's when the call to service for all of those who don't wear the uniform comes to the forefront. It's easy to honor those who serve. We talk about buying a cup of coffee. That's wonderful. There are tons of veterans out there who are incredibly grateful in their families for each and every act of kindness that's brought to them. But the call to service is two parts. There is also the call to serve your nation as a citizen, as a mother, as a father, as a teacher, as a student. Every single job has merit and value if you look at it as a part of making our country great. 